Hey guys, welcome into another testing video. So this is the 8x6600 rig. So there's 8 6600s on there. And yeah, it's currently mining Ergo on Team Red Miner. And this is the current power draw at the wall. Uh, spikes up to 395, but is generally sitting at around 391 or so. So now I'll jump into the software and show you how much mega hash we're getting on ergo all right we're on the software side of things now you can see how much mega hash we're getting on each gpu uh, the rough total three uh, 453 mega hash uh, just slightly under i've taken as the average uh, you can see the power draw in the software but we all know that's completely inaccurate uh, for amd cards we're actually drawing 47 watts per card at the wall so um, numbers here 452.8 mega hash 391 watts gives an efficiency of 1.158 mega hash uh, per watt one of the gpus alone will do 56.6 mega hash at 47 watts at the wall which is 1.2 mega hash per watt uh, if you've watched my previous video this one where I get 53 mega hash at 45 watts. You can see here I'm using LOL Miner version 1.46 alpha by the looks of it. Um, so now I'm using uh, Team Red Miner 0.9.4.2. So that's a difference to last time. And what that means is we are actually stable at 56.6 mega hash. Last time on lol miner it like spikes up to about 56 but then drops down to about 32 and all in all i averaged it out i think it was about 53 yeah 53 mega hash so yeah because of that it used slightly less power um per card uh but yeah it's less mega hash as well uh the other difference between this one and that one is you can see I've got the three ASRock cards in here but then obviously the other five are different models so yeah there's various 6600 models and as I've determined from previous testing the ASRocks are the most efficient of the 6600 cards um, I would say partly due to the larger heatsink which means they require less fan power but also probably some other reasons in there um, and the fan power has an effect because I have them on auto fan. Uh, so you can see that one's at 27%, that one's at 14, that one's at 14. So 14 is the minimum that I've got it set to in auto fan. So it will not go below 14. Uh, this one I think is quite deep in the rig. Oh yeah, it's, this one's the very last card. Used to be the sapphire, but the sapphire gets way too hot. So I switched the sapphire and the azrock. Um, yeah, so pretty efficient. I don't have the uh, minus that ergo closed it. Um, so we we'll compare this um, chart. It's a pretty good chart for comparison. Uh, it's not super accurate for every card, specifically the 6000 series cards. It's not really accurate, but um, we can still use it as a gauge. So we were getting for just a card we we're getting 1.2 mega hash per watt uh, so you can see that that slots in about here so the cards that are better than it it's like the 3070 vega 64 3080 and ti 6600 xt i don't 100 percent know that that's or any of the amd ones i don't know that they're actually uh actual readings at the wall or if they are software power drills because yeah a lot of these websites <coughs> They get uh, very mixed up between uh, three different numbers. The actual number being somewhere between, but they get like the un, the non-undervolted numbers sometimes. So they'll show as being extremely inefficient. Sometimes, you know, they'll be close to accurate and you're not sure if they actually got it accurate because uh, they tested it or if it's just because they somehow ended up in the range between software power draw and an efficient power draw <laughs> um, yeah so sometimes you'll see wildly inefficient numbers for uh, 6000 series cards and other AMD cards uh, on these websites and other times you'll see like 
crazy efficient numbers because they use a software power draw. <laughs> like if I were to claim that these are using 35 watts because they say 35 watts, but that would be inaccurate. Um, yeah, but uh, these cards supposedly are more efficient. 3050, that seems weird. 3050, I don't know about that. Uh, 3070, which is 3070 LHR, they're basically the same thing now. Vega 56, A2000, and Radian 7. Um, yeah, so this is one of the only... So the A2000, everyone says it's like a crazy efficient card. Uh, the 6600s actually beat the A2000 on uh, Ethereum, ETC, Fero, Ravencoin, any other algorithms that use ETHash or most variants of ETHash and any like Kapow, Fero Pow, uh, any other algorithms that use Kapow or any other coins that use the Kapow algorithm I should say. Um, so yeah, they're not that, I would never recommend buying an A2000 uh, if it's significantly more expensive than a 6600 because uh, they're similar efficiency. Yes, the um, A2000 mega hash is always going to be higher, usually about 30 to 33% higher. So this is 91 mega hash. We've got, uh, we've dropped down here. We're at 56.6 mega hash here. Um, so what's that? A bit less than 30% more, something like that. Um, yeah, and on Ethereum and stuff, it's about that much more again. Although with the shunt mod, yeah, it's a bit different. You can get a bit more, but uh, even with the shunt mod, when you're considering Ethereum, the 6600 is still more efficient and cheaper dollar per mega hash, uh, depending on the prices you can get them at, obviously. So do your own math for cost to mega hash and all that. But yeah, I'd always recommend going 6600s instead. But as you can see on this specific algorithm, the 6600s are less efficient. Uh, but yeah, they do slot in somewhere around here. So what's that? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they're about number 11, roughly. So not super efficient on Ogo, but I mean, still uh, like reasonable. Like they can mine Ogo. They're just not great. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yep, that's all the numbers and that's all I've got for this video. Uh, I also probably won't be posting any new videos for the next few days. I'm going to be away. Um, yeah, probably until like Wednesday, Thursday next week. So see you guys then. Uh, if this video helped you in any way, leave a like, comment and subscribe to support the channel. Totally forgot that I haven't actually shown the overclocks yet. It's kind of important if anyone's wanting to copy this. Uh, so as always, remember to check which GPU you have. So if you have one of these models, um, check, like, if you've got a Sapphire or whatever, come down. This first column here will be the settings for that one. Uh, and yes, it does matter, like, they vary quite a bit. Uh, for example, I switched these two GPUs to get the temperatures better uh, for their placement on the rig. And then I forgot about it and tried to boot up this flight sheet like this with these overclocks and uh, totally crashed. Had to switch these two numbers because they are not interchangeable whatsoever. They're completely different. Uh, it was mainly the SOC VDD Max. Oh, actually, it was a memory voltage as well. And core voltage is a little bit different. But yeah, just crashed every time. And I eventually realized, hey, I switched those two and now I need to switch the overclocks. So make sure you get the right one for your GPU. Uh, even then, it'll probably still crash because silicone lottery, you'll just have to increase all four millivolt settings by about five to 10, and then it should be stable. Uh, and you can start reducing them back down if you'd like the most efficient settings. So uh, four millivolt settings, you can see them, it says like millivolt here. It's this one, this one here, this one here, and this one here. So yeah, you know, just increase those a bit until it's stable and then reduce them back down if you want to try and get back down to um, the most efficient possible settings that you can get. <clears throat> Actually, as you can see here, 
we're getting a decreased mega hash. I've been running this for about an hour and that hasn't really happened much. <coughs> but it is interesting to see that that one lasted a bit longer. Oh, now we can't see the um, stats. Stats are good for tracking like the average mega hash. So yeah, you can see 452.9 and you can see where I restarted it as well. But yeah, been running for about an hour now <coughs> with that. <coughs> at that same mega hash so pretty solid stats right there pretty stable so yeah that's all i've got for this video leave a like comment and subscribe to support the channel and have a great day see ya